former President Donald Trump stuck in New York for his hush money criminal trial. While here in Washington, the Supreme Court heard oral arguments in a separate case, weighing whether Trump is immune from criminal charges for actions he took while in office. No one is above the law. Dozens of demonstrators outside the Supreme Court protesting former President Trump's alleged role in trying to overturn the 2020 election results. Inside, justices heard hours of arguments over whether former presidents have absolute immunity from criminal prosecution. The landmark case stems from special counsel Jack Smith's federal election interference case against Trump, which is currently on hold awaiting the high court's decision. This case has huge implications for the presidency, for the future of the presidency, for the future of the country, in my view. Justices peppered attorneys on both sides trying to find the line between protecting presidential authority and holding future presidents accountable for their actions. If the potential for criminal liability is taken off the table, wouldn't there be a significant risk that future presidents would be emboldened to commit crimes with abandon while they're in office? As for Trump, he was stuck in a New York courtroom for a separate hush money criminal case. A judge denied Trump's request to skip court to attend the Supreme Court session, but the former president had this to say before walking in. If you don't have immunity, you're not going to do anything. You're going to become a ceremonial president. We don't know how long the justices will take to issue their ruling, but the latest it could come out is at the end of June. In Washington, Rebecca Castor, Fox News.